hi there everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. Of course, I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Uh, today, we're just doing a fun little cheeky deck. It is obviously one of the champions that we keep playing with, but he's kind of just really good in a lot of things. And uh, But the deck is called Corrupt Power. Before we get into it though, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. And of course the champion is Ergon, the Tragic Gargoyle. Uh, what he does is exhaust, send the top two cards of your deck into the discard zone. Seems fun enough. Exhaust, pay one, put target unit from the discard zone to the top of the deck, which is very useful in this deck right now. Mm -hmm. And then the spirit we're going to use is Luna, uh, because this is the theme of the deck. When you destroy a tower unit in the battle, place one counter on this card. During the turn, remove three counters from Luna, and your opponent discards a card. And that's what we're doing here. We're going to make sure your opponent has no zero cards. During your turn, Soul Burst, uh, flip your card face down, and then your opponent discards one card. So hopefully you can just end it there. First guy we got is Gloom Neophyte. It is three for 1,500, and whenever a card is discarded from your opponent's hand, you may have target unit gain one, minus 2,000 until the end of the turn. So she's there to help you kill all the dudes. Yep. That's, this, that's the name of this game. We're playing as discard, and she helps you kill the dudes as they discard. So you get double value. Exactly. And 2,000 is nothing to shy about. You can just kill almost everything yeah. right now. Uh, she is the cornerstone, but the, this first one is a Playful Imp. It's a one drop, 1,000. So that's good, just the powers itself. And then Ruin. Declare a card name. Your opponent reveals their hand and discards all co copies of the discard declared card. So therefore, maybe not turn one you should be able to play this unless you just want to just see their hand and then you just name a, a random thing. The next guy we got is a Pewter Gargoyle. It is two for a 500. Uh, if this card is in your discard zone, when a card is discarded from your opponent's hand by your effect, you can put this card into play. So yeah, he's a cheap little dude, but he literally gets to come in for free. Because yep. you're always going to have the effects to say discard a card, and you're like, cool, I get a free dude. Like, I get a little dude. And he's a Gargoyle, which will come into play yeah. later. Uh, Bloodlight Maniac. It's a two drop, 1,000. Arrive, both players discard one random card from the hand. Just simple as that. Next up is Obsidian Gargoyle. It is two for 1,000. When this card is sent from your deck to your discard zone, you may put it into play. So if you do use Ergon's ability to mill and you mill him, you get him free. Yeah, exactly. Same with the the Putrid Gargoyle. You just discard him from there and then you yeah. can get him back. Now uh, we have actually Ergon the Forgiven Emissary. It's a three drop, 3,000, which is powerful because it's a Omega unit. But it has to be placed on one of your Gargoyle units. So there you go for that. It has Destroyer, which is amazing for something so cheap. Offering three, add this card from your discard zone to your hand. So super awesome. Yeah. And uh, we got Nob, the Shadow Gargoyle Guardian, because he's super it's strong super for good. black. Uh, he is four for 2,500 with Guardian. Arrive if there's a destroyed Dark Tower target unit gains minus 2,000 this turn. So... I mean, Nob's just super strong. If you're playing yeah. Darkness, you need to be playing this dude. Like, regardless of what you're doing with it, this dude just does so much for you. Yeah. He essentially can kill two creatures with one, because he comes into play, kills a dude, blocks another dude, and it's just, it's worth it. Next one is Demon of the Evil Eye. It's a five drop, 3,000. Arrive, declare a name, then your opponent reveals that hand and then discards all cards with that name, and then you draw one card for each card discarded this way. So if it's late game and you know what they're playing, then you can just draw some cards as well. Yeah. And then next is Golem of Vengeance. It is six for a 4,000 destroyer. Arrive, look at your opponent's hand and select one card. Then your opponent discards that card. If you control two or more Golem units, select two cards instead. You're not really gonna have two or more, but if you do, cool. The yeah. first one you get just one, and then the second one you play gets two. But I mean, if you're playing this dude and you get more than that, then I don't know, because they, they had really good card draw. Yeah, and he's the one that can you actually look at their hand and yeah. go ahead and get it, for sure. Uh, first spell is Delayed Poison, because it's extremely powerful. It's a one-drop augment. Equip to target unit. At the start of your next turn, destroy the equipped unit. And of course, as always, the explanation is when you attach this augment to their creature, they control the augment. So on the start of their next turn, you kill it. So it's one mana kill card immediately. Omega Magic Yami, it is two for a spell instacast. Choose one, or if you have two or less towers remaining, you choose both. Target unit gains minus 1,000, or return target unit three or less from your discard to the field. This card is insanely powerful for two mana. Super. 
And the next one is Blood Sacrifice. It's a two drop as an additional cost to play this spell. Uh, sacrifice a dark unit, which you have a lot of small dudes anyway, so that's okay. Discard one random card from your opponent's hand. So you're sacrificing a little dude to get rid of a card, and that's okay. Uh, next up is Poisonous Strike. It is three for an insta cast spell. Target attacking or blocking creature this turn gains minus 2000. Then your opponent discards one card from their hand. So this helps kill a dude and makes them discards, which if you have a Gloom Neophyte, win turn makes a dude minus 2000 again. Yep. And also with the little Neophyte with Blood Sacrifice, as additional cost to play this, you when you put it on the stack, you sacrifice your little dude, and then they discard a card and then you bring it back. So you basically lose no value. Yeah. For your little 500 uh, Gargoyle. Now, of course, there's Scales of Darkness. Uh, each player sacrifices a unit and discards a card, and it costs three. So with this and the uh, Gloom Neophyte that we first talked about, it happens all at the same time. So if they have two creatures and you only have her, you sacrifice her, each person discards a card, and you get to kill a dude at the same time. Yeah, because it's on the same line that it happens at the same time, it triggers them equally. Yeah. Just to let you know, just in case you want to board wipe them and just come back, because with Argon, you basically put Neophyte back on top, and then you can play her again, yeah. and then it's okay. And that's why... We're freely discarding ourselves and killing our own creatures because we can just get them back. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Now, of course, uh, with the shards, we just use the Corrupted Spirit Ruby. And you basically exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy a target unit. It's age of, what, tell is time. What is it? What's the saying, Gold? Is yeah. it a story is age is time? I can't remember right now, but... It's old and it keep, just you, keeps you just, working. Just use it. Just use it. it. Kill, it's a free kill spell. That's yeah. what it's for. Yeah, exactly. And of course, the other shards are just Argent shards, and that's about it. But with this, I can't wait to play it on the Brawl. It looks very annoying. And yeah. it plays. I don't know if it plays against a blue deck, but that'd be fun to see what happens there. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy to see, because one of us isn't going to have a hand. It's yeah. just how it's going to happen. Let's see how annoying it really is. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that, hopefully you enjoy your stay here at Geek Island, and you have a good day. Bye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.